Ah, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Getting a super, super late start today, and I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys right after that. We're not gonna do much today. I went to bed last night feeling sick, super cold, super achy, woke up even more sick, so I'm not gonna be doing much at all. No, I don't have coronavirus. I'm just, uh, I feel like I'm overworking myself and my body just cannot keep up. It is already five o'clock p.m. Just now heading to the shop, and I don't really know what we got going on. I just wanna, I'm thinking about going and buying some taillights or something, putting them on the truck. I just wanna drive my damn truck, so I think I might do that. I do gotta say right off the bat, if anyone has a 20, I think it'd be a 2014 to 2019 GMC Sierra, cause I found out that the Chevy Silverado box would be different. I need the six and a half foot bed for my truck. So if anyone has them, preferably in black of course, shoot me a DM on Instagram, also need a tailgate, also need a rear bumper, that'd be sick. Hopefully I can find one soon. There was one I was supposed to get today and I called them, they sent me pictures and it was a dually bed. It didn't obviously work out. If anyone has one, let me know please. I need one today. All right, so we went to Harbor Freight, one of my favorite stores in the world, and we picked up some magnetic towing lights. These should plug right into the trailer light wiring on the truck. We'll just magnet them right to the frame of the truck and we should be good to go. Now we should be fully legal to drive the truck, so I'll definitely be driving it a little bit more. Looks kind of funny without a bed on it, and we'll be legal to drive it whenever we do find a bed to go pick it up. Quick reminder before we continue today's video, tomorrow 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do have a drop on the Boston site. Full restock on all the masks, tank tops, some t-shirts, jet tags, and then we do have a ton of new air fresheners as well. We got our new taillights on, got a temporary plate in the window. We should be good to go in this thing. Before we do anything else today, I want to fill you guys in on some important information. We did finally partner up with IAA, which is where we purchased this truck and Bobby's Series Gray STI. And we got a discount code set up for you guys. The discount code is DEVIN2020 and it will save you $50 when you sign up. The sign up fee over at IAA is 200 bucks, so it'll knock it down to $150. As soon as you pay that fee and get signed up, you will be free to bid on any car that is open to the public. I'll have them linked first link down in the description box below. Devin 2020 will save you 50 bucks if you guys want to pick up something like this for yourself. start with the Evo, the 10, the battery is dead. I forgot some lights on in the interior and it's been sitting for like at least a week now. Battery is completely dead. This always happens, so I think I found a better way to attach it. And we honestly haven't driven this car in such a long time that I kind of just want to go enjoy it for a few minutes. Let's go drive it, let's get the oil warmed up in it, come back here, change the oil, and fix a few little issues with the car.
I always forget how fast the Evo 10 is. Every time I don't drive that car for a while and then I go and drive it, it blows me away how freaking fast that car is. I think it'd be really sick to hopefully soon do a reaction video, put it on the 85 so it's at that 700 wheel mark and just go get like my brothers, maybe my parents in the car. We already did one with Bobby's sister and that was pretty good. <laughs> Get some friends and family in the car and get the reaction of a 700 wheel Evo 10. Cause it's fun. So from the recommendation of English, which is the place that tuned both of our Evos, they suggested I switch from 5W30, which is the factory oil weight on an Evo 10 or an Evo 8 or like a STI. And they recommend that I go to a 20 50. So I picked up some Henry 2050. I do believe this is only available online. I haven't found anywhere here locally in Spokane that sells it. So if you guys want to pick some of this up, I'll link it down in the description box below. Got it off of Amazon and it's actually relatively cheap for the 12 pack. As far as I know, Pengrade is one of the higher end oils that you can get. Let's go ahead and slap some of this in the car and we should be all finished up, ready to rip. That's weird, it's already black when you pour it out. <laughs> I have actually never seen that before. Definitely quite a bit thicker than the 530 as well. All right, oil change is all finished up. I'll show you guys what I picked up to try and fix that side skirt issue. This is a, I call them a rib nut. That might be the wrong terminology, but basically it'll be a threaded insert. So what we're gonna do is drill the hole in the skirt itself to the proper size. That is gonna go through the side skirt and then you clamp this together and it spreads the end of this insert out and then you can just bolt right to the side skirt. So instead of having a self tapper screw from here, into here which always rips out we'll have a nice threaded aluminum insert in the actual skirt itself to bolt instead of screw these bottom underboards on to the skirt it's always been an issue on this car those things always pop off get loose so this is definitely something i've been needing to do for a while okay i'll give you guys a little example of what happens so we have the threaded insert on the tool we're just going to squeeze this right here and as you can see, it starts to flare or squish the insert. That is what it looks like after you squish it. So we just got all of the inserts installed into the side skirt. Unfortunately, we did run out, so we cannot do the other side until we go get more of those guys right there. And we also need to pick up some hardware. Let's go for a little rip in the M3, grab some hardware for this thing, and we should be all finished up. All right, we're all finished up in the shop for tonight. I'm actually gonna be driving the Duramax tonight, which is super exciting. I'm excited to drive it because I've never driven it when it's actually driving straight. It's always been just bent. Now that it's not bent, it should be much more enjoyable to drive. So pulling the M3 into the shop and we can go take out our Duramax. I heard you think you're pretty fast. I am pretty fast. You wanna race? Sure, why not? No talk, no touch, no anything, I'm starving. Ready to feel some real power? Yes. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, it's actually really quick, but it's just like so wonky. I think it's so fast because we're missing the bed. The extra king size bed. I think we need to get new exhaust. Kind of a ugly truck without the bed. Are you upset? Are you? I uh, wasn't even down all the way and I let off. Yeah, you know, it seems like a very common occurrence with you. Every time you lose a race, you say you let off. But I think you just lost the race. I'm sorry, honey, but nothing can keep up with Sierra. 
I thought we renamed her. The what? Cynthia.